Hi, I'm Matt from ePipeMods.com. Today we're going to talk about battery safety and a new device from ePipe Mods, Cherry Vape, and Artisan Vaping that can help protect your batteries and protect your mod. Um, main reason we did this is because early on when I first started vaping, uh, I was buying batteries and they were listed as protected. I would get them in and quickly realized that they were not protected batteries at all. Um, so it's misadvertising, mislabeling of batteries is fairly common uh, when it comes to batteries from China. You just don't know what you're going to get. Uh, there are batteries out there that are labeled AW and they are not AW batteries. So pretty much any battery you buy uh, because of that very simple thing that, you know, these black market batteries are everywhere. We don't know what we have. Um, any battery can vent. It doesn't matter if it's IMR, uh, Life PO4, or an AW. It has the, the potential to vent uh, just because it may not be what you think it is. Um, so what we've done is we've created a little fuse that has a magnet on it that you can stick on the bottom of your battery and uh, you know for a fact that that battery has protection now. Um, so I'm going to take this apart and show you how it works. As you can see I have a number of different mods here and each one of these mods uh, will actually work with the vape safe. Uh, we had the vape safe in Chicago with us and we tested it in several different mods and there were only a select few that it actually wouldn't fit into and, and operate with. Uh, one being the the lava tube which I hear um, they've made some revisions to the new versions of the lava tube to where uh, the fuse will probably fit the travel inside the battery compartment is going to be a little bit bigger but one thing I would like to ask everybody is you know you see all these mods here you see what it worked with in the comments on this video if you would just post if this does work with your mod or if it doesn't that way other people will know and they don't buy it thinking that it's going to work and it doesn't um, just as a courtesy to other vapors but here here goes here's an empire mod uh, it's a telescopic tube mod so you can wind this thing all the way out with an 18650 if you want and it'll still fit but I've got an 18490 AW battery here and here is the vape safe fuse and it's got a little magnet on here you can see the little fuse uh, you just stick the magnet to the negative end of the battery okay and you'd insert the battery as you normally would into the mod uh, on a telescopic mod you may want to wind it out a little bit then put your cap back on, screw it on tight, and on the Empire you're going to want to screw the body back tight a little bit more, and that's it. You're ready to vape. You activate the button and the atomizer will fire. Now, if for any reason you were to put a cardamizer on here, or a bad adapter, anything that would uh, generate a hard short that could then uh, start a thermal reaction in the battery, uh, the vape safe fuse will pop and shut down the current to the battery or to the atomizer so that uh, you know that thermal reaction is instantly stopped there is no heat generated and it's just done so even if you're taking two uh, three volt batteries and putting it putting them in series into an empire or say the GG um, using the vape safe on the bottom battery on the negative side. You don't want to put it in between the batteries or on top or anything like that. It's just real simple. Just on the bottom of the batteries, the last battery in the mod, stick it on there, uh, put your batteries in, and it's going to protect your mod. Um, other mods that you can use this with, this is a, uh, a Zenesis uh, that I picked up in Chicago. This is a great mod. Um, it's got the nice uh, you know, stainless steel coil in it, built-in tank, built-in atomizer. A mod like this, um, you know, it's it's a very expensive mod. It's something you're definitely going to want to protect. So, the uh, the way that you're going to protect this mod um, is you put the battery in there normally, and you screw the cap down, and you do have this nice flush thing with the button here okay um, so when you put the vape safe on this I'm actually gonna take it out I'm gonna take it out of this one real quick you stick it on the bottom of your battery there 
and your cap, your end cap is not going to quite screw in all the way. Okay. But it's still going to fire. It still looks fairly good and you're protected. So, you know, small price to pay for a for a little bit of protection on an otherwise uh, unprotected mod. That's an IMR battery in there. There is no protection circuit on that battery. Uh, so now this is a, a protected mod. Um, the, the bullet mod is kind of the same way. If you were to take an 18350 and stick it in here, um, you saw that it was nice and flush. Everything was arranged really neatly. Uh, you couldn't see any lines in the mod. Uh, you take the vape safe and put it on the bullet mod and the threads come out a little bit. And with this mod it's actually kind of neat because you can just unwind the top cap a little bit, wind the bottom cap in a little bit, and you get a nice even spacing between the two. Doesn't look bad and you've got a protected mod. Now another mod that you're able to use Another couple mods that you're able to use the vape safe, vape safe fuse in uh, is the Jazz Cardo pipe uh, and the Italian Sun pipes. Now, when you want to use this with the Jazz Cardo pipe, um, our pipes come with a fuse like in line in the wiring, uh, so you you won't need this for our pipes. But uh, for this pipe, you stick uh, your battery. In as you normally would. Oh, sorry, jazz goes this way. Fuses on the bottom. You press the battery down, swing your arm over, and it's ready to fire. And same thing on the sun pipe. This is another pipe you can use the uh, the vape safe with. Um, you want to stick. The, uh, the vape safe, I, I stick it on the positive end on this and stick the battery in upside down like that because that's the way I do it in my pipes or that's the way my pipes work so I'm just in that habit. You just put the cap on and it's going to fire. Um, so now we know that this has a protection circuit in it. So that's pretty much it. I mean, the vape safe is a, a very easy uh, item to use, and it just adds a little bit of safety where, you know, mods are, uh, well, lithium ion batteries in general can explode. Uh, they explode in cell phones, they explode in laptops. Um, it's just something that happens, and anything that we can add to, you know, put a little bit more protection to it uh, is, is going to help prevent that. Um, this is the Vape Sonic. That'll be coming soon. Um, this is essentially the same thing as the vape safe, only if there is a hard short, it um, actually makes a noise it, that alarms you that a hard short's occurred. Um, this is a little bit taller and will be uh, a little bit more limited to the mods that you can fit it in, um, but probably in a couple months we'll be having this one out as well. So there you have it, guys. Vape safe is just a little device that can go into a lot of different mods and ensure that you have a protected battery. Uh, the vape safe is going to be available to vendors around the world. There will be no exclusives on this thing. Uh, it's a safety device, so um, you know we don't want uh, anybody to not be able to have this in their mod. Um, <clears throat> and uh, one last thing on the on the vape safe, uh, just to clarify. The fuse is a one-time use, one time it blows, it's done. So um, if you do blow a fuse, don't put the battery back into your mod, fire the mod and see if it'll work. That's the last thing you're going to want to do. You're going to want to troubleshoot this mod if you know how, use an ohm meter, try and find out what on it shorted. Most likely it's going to be your atomizer. Uh, a lot of mods like the Empire, R pipes, um, you know, several several mods out there. They have designed their connectors to where their connectors cannot fail and they cannot short. Uh, not all companies, but most. Uh, so where you're going to find a short is either in your adapter or your cardamizer. Uh, they're just cheap quality disposable pieces that uh, have very very um, small amounts of insulation that can fail. Um, but you're going to want to find 
this short that has occurred before you stick your battery back in your mod and try vaping with it again. If you don't know what's wrong with it and you can't figure it out, talk to your manufacturer of your mod. Try and find out what happened before you stick a battery back in there and potentially start a thermal reaction with your battery. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, the vape safe uh, and vape safe.